Oh, here we go. Welcome back to Bradley PTV, where we're here to learn everything and do everything. I'm a guy I like to learn everything, do everything myself. I believe ain't nothing I can't do. I believe ain't nothing you can't do. Uh, you follow along on some of these journeys, um, these projects and whatnot. Um, today's video is a throwback video of some of my work I did in my earlier days, early 20s, back in 2012, 2013, I believe, maybe a 2014 project in there. Um, but I got a lot, a lot of projects, of old projects, a few not too old projects from last year, earlier this year that I haven't posted or shown anybody, um, that I want to get out there. Um, but I'm going to start with some old stuff where I started at back in the day, back on the day, day, um, or some of the stuff I used to do, uh, how I used to do it. So I'm going to run through about, I think, four old projects. Uh, it's going to be some more old projects, a bunch of more old projects, um, and some real nice ones. The real nice ones. When I put the real nice ones up, that's when I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like, and share on those. This, ah, this is old stuff, you know, back in the day. Here we go. So this is like my fifth bathroom here, gutted. Uh, kept it till they wanted to repaint it. It's plumbing, dialectic unions. I don't think we got no air chambers on here. Remember, it's like 10 years ago. Eight. The electrical, uh, I always was using the three inch recess lights for the longest. Metal framing, I started using metal framing before wood. Uh, so I used metal, styrofoam, insulation, uh, yeah, drywall. I wasn't using no red guard. I don't think red guard was out back then. Mud it up, sand it. I wasn't that good at mudding back then. And towel, I always went with the brick. That two by that one by two towel wasn't even out back then. It was everything was square, for the most part. No trim on the window. <laughs> Still clean. Clean enough. Clean cut still. Eh. <laughs> oh, another bathroom. This pink bathroom I had a pink tub. I wanted to keep the damn tub. Some more plumbing. Dialectic unions coming in. Now I just use brass nipples. Um. Yeah, to take the uh, galvanized pipe out and put it in a brass nipple with a, a copper female. So my tell I always do the accent strip, cut it in half, run it around the uh, perimeter. Not the perimeter, but through the middle of the towel. Well, the corner, outside corner, some old patch. I used to grab a green mesh with the green drywall. It really don't matter. Voila. Yellow tent, top coat. Some more electrical. Slight work. Huh. Towel around the sink, all on the side. Makita baby forever. That's the drill. Clean lines, matching up in the corners, accent. It's always, always about clean lines. And grout lines, even. Oh, this was a, a island peninsula, so it was that. Bought some cabinets, bought some wall, uh, base cabinet and three wall cabinets, and I built up a frame to sit the wall cabinets on because that's smaller, shorter than the... Uh, base cabinet but that was so that half of the other side you can put stools underneath and overhang It'd be the same depth as the base cabinet 24 but the wall cabinets are 12 so the other half of that you can put a bench underneath so I was designing back then too
he having ideas. So that's gonna be the top. You see, that's the seat, the bench you can put underneath there. Oh, and that's the design with the trim, 45 on the corners on the outside. Uh, I think this is my second basement bathroom. Putting the sewage pump in, taking out this uh, sump pump, but it's only water sewage pump is for the toilets, for number twos. Bust it all up. I said sump pump I had to dig out. She wanted to move the toilet after I got it in, so I had to rebust it open, move it over. It's a shower over there. Plumbing. <laughs> no rear guard. Dig a hole. I think that's it.